Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update June 14th, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 242. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, The Princess Agent's Plagiarism Case, and the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. But first, here are a couple of dramas that premiered recently. Well Dominated Love is a modern romance drama starring Lulu Xuan and Eden Zhao, and it premiered on June 12. It follows the romance between a capable and positive office girl and an intelligent but arrogant CEO. If you are looking for drama tropes, look no further. The drama is available on YouTube and Mango TV. No English subs at the moment. The Eight is a Republican-era drama starring Ohau and Seven Tan, and it also premiered on June 12. It tells the story of martial arts experts, I'm guessing there's eight of them, who form an alliance to fight during a time of war. Ohau's last drama to air was Love Under the Moon with Victoria Song. Seven Tan recently starred in the popular costume drama Under the Power with Ellen Ren. The Eight also co-stars Ching Lan, who stars in the currently airing modern drama We Are All Alone. The Eight is available on the iQiyi app with English subs. My Heroic Husband is an upcoming costume drama and they recently announced their lead actors, Guo Qiling and Song Yi. You guys might remember the two stars from Joy of Life, where they played an adorable pair of siblings. In My Heroic Husband, they will play husband and wife. Adapted from a novel of the same name, the drama tells the story of a modern businessman who travels back in time and enters the body of the useless son-in-law of a rich merchant. It has comedy written all over it. The drama will also serve as a mini-reunion for the cast of Joy of Life. Reportedly, Hai Tian, Gao Shu Guang, Zhang Ruoyun, and Tian Yu will all make appearances. And from one drama that's just announced their cast, we go to one that's just wrapped filming. I Am This Type of Girl is an upcoming costume drama starring Guan Xiaotong and Neo Ho. They wrapped filming a couple of days ago, June 12. I Am This Type of Girl is just a literal translation of the Chinese title. So far, there's no official or working English title. Guan Xiaotong plays a feisty girl who doesn't conform to societal norms, hence her three failed engagements. One day, she finds out that she can see the future in her dreams. I think we can all use an ability like that. Anyway, she uses that ability to help her family avoid doom. Neo Ho plays an outstanding and talented young man who's searching for the truth behind his family's death. The two characters work together to solve the mystery and of course, fall for each other in the process. Guan Xiaotong's most memorable drama for me so far is 2018's Untouchable Lovers with Song Weilong. I personally haven't seen any of Neo Ho's work, but his last drama to air was The Lost Tomb 2, Explore with The Note. More updates on this as they provide them. Court finds Princess Agent's author guilty of plagiarism. What does this mean for a Princess Agent's drama sequel? For those of you who don't know, Princess Agents is a 2017 costume drama starring Zhao Liying and Kenny Lin. And it was a huge success both domestically and internationally, and is the second most viewed Chinese drama ever, behind 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms. Even though Zhao Liying and Kenny Lin were both already established leading actors, this drama arguably shot them to a whole new level. The thing is, Princess Agents ended with a cliffhanger. So as much as fans loved it, they were also frustrated and clamored for a sequel. Till this day, one of the most asked questions on my channel is, when will we have a Princess Agents 2? The problem, as I've mentioned in previous videos, is the issue of plagiarism. Princess Agents was based on the novel Queen of Number 11 Agent by Xiao Xiang Dong Er. The novel allegedly plagiarized from several novels, including one called Mrs. Pearl by Xiao Ru Si. Mrs. Pearl is now being adapted into the drama Novoland Pearl Eclipse starring Yang Mi and William Chan. Anyway, in 2017, Xiao Ru Si sued the producers of Princess Agents and got the first judgment in her favor. The court found that plagiarism was established and awarded her 50,000 RMB, about 7,000 US dollars. 
Xiao Rusi continued her quest for compensation, and in 2018 sued Xiao Xiang Dongur, the author for Queen of Number 11 Agent. Two days ago, she updated that she got a second judgment in her favor, also for about 50,000 RMB, plus a public apology and also other remedies. By the way, a few weeks ago, when Yang Mi's poster for Pearl Eclipse came out, some netizens said it plagiarized Zhao Liying's poster for Princess Agents. How ironic is that? I think that's just reaching though. There are many drama and movie posters out there with a character holding a bow and arrow. It's not all that unique. The aforementioned I am this type of girl has Guan Xiaotong holding a bow and arrow as well. But in any case, what does this all mean for the burning question of a Princess Agent sequel? Well, I think there are two ways you can look at it. The first is that, since plagiarism has already been established, there's no chance of a sequel and the series will end right there. The second and more optimistic way of looking at it is now that this whole plagiarism issue is settled, the producers can move forward freely. The writers can write something that has nothing to do with the novel, just another 30 or 40 episodes to tie up the loose ends from season 1. Like in Game of Thrones, where about season 4 or 5, they just kind of went on their own tangent because there was no more novel to follow. I'm sure Princess Agent's fans would love something like that. Whatever happens, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated right here on my channel. And it's Sunday today, so time for the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. Edition 23, June 14th, 2020. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. And we begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi and Tencent, social media discussions and Baidu searches. Number 10, Well-Dominated Love, the modern drama stars Lulu Xuan and Eden Zhao. Number 9, My Dear Destiny, the costume drama stars Zhang Sifan and Hui Xuan. Number 8, The Twin Flower Legend, the costume drama stars Yu Xiaotong and Kenny Kwan. Number 7, Good Wife, the modern drama stars Betty Yao and Li Wei. Number 6, Mr. Fox and Miss Rose, the modern drama stars Zhang Yaqing and Ren Yulun. Number 5, The Romance of Tiger and Rose, the costume drama stars Zhao Lusi and Ryan Ding. Number 4, The Eight, the Republican era drama stars Oh Hao and Seven Tan. Number 3, We Are All Alone, the modern drama stars Qing Lan and Godfrey Gao. Number 2, You Are My Destiny, the modern drama stars Xin Zhaoling and Liang Jie. And number 1, And the Winner is Love, the costume drama stars Liu Luo and Yuki Chen. The 8 and We're Not Alone debut impressively at number 4 and number 3 respectively, whereas You Are My Destiny and And the Winner is Love stay strong at number 2 and number 1 respectively. And now the top 10 Chinese TV dramas at the moment. These are based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China, and they include reruns. Number 10, Serenade of Peaceful Joy. The costume drama stars Wang Kai and Maggie Jiang. Number 9, Road of Loyalty. The pre-Republican era drama stars Li Jidong and Yao Tianyu. Number 8, Hunting. The modern drama stars Wang Kai and Angel Wang. Number 7, Sai Shang Feng Yun Ji. The pre-Republican era drama stars Han Dong and Xu Fanxi. Number 6, Perfect Village. The modern drama stars Yang Zikang and Qi Xiang. Number 5, Autumn Cicada. The Republican era drama stars Ellen Ren and Li Man. Number 4, Burning. The modern drama stars Jing Chao and Carlina Zhang. Number 3, Get Married or Not. The modern drama stars Tong Yao and Pan Yueming. Number 2, Trident. The modern drama stars Chen Jianbing and Dong Yong. And number one, Love Designer, the modern drama stars Dil Raba and Johnny Huang. So a number of new entries, including a rerun, Road of Loyalty, which first aired in 2016. But Get Married or Not, Trident, and Love Designer fill out the top three as they did last week. And now the top 10 Chinese drama actors at the moment. The list is based on drama performances, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. And on this list, there's no separation between TV and web, it's just drama actors as a whole. Number 10, Johnny Huang. He stars in Love Designer with Del Raba. Number 9, Lulu Xuan. She stars in Well Dominated Love with Eden Zhao. Number 8, Seven Tan. She stars in The Eight with Oh Hao. Number 7, Qing Lan. She stars in We Are All Alone with Godfrey Gao. 
Number 6, Wang Yibo. He's currently filming Being a Hero with Cheng Xiao. Number 5, Ellen Ren. He stars with Zhang Hui Wen in Love a Lifetime, which will premiere soon. Number 4, Xiao Chan. He recently filmed the variety TV show Youth Paraplus Season 2. Number 3, Leo Luo. He stars in And the Winner is Love with Yuki Chen. Number 2, Zhao Lu Si. She stars in The Romance of Tiger and Rose with Ryan Ding. And number 1, Dil Raba. She stars in Love Designer with Johnny Huang. Dil Raba, Zhao Lu Si, and Leo Luo continue to dominate the top 3 on account of their hit dramas. And top 10 regulars, Xiao Zhan and Wang Yipo, are there as well. Ellen Ren seems to be on a roll, first with Under the Power, and then with Autumn Cicada, and now with Love a Lifetime coming up. So there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of who and what drama's hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. And that's it for this episode. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!